Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly video predictions for the second last episode of the first half of Fear the Walking Dead Season 2. This one is for Episode 6. This one's called Secret Service. For the warning, if you guys haven't seen episode 5 yet, the review for it is posted in the channel. I'll put the link in the description so you can click it and you can watch the uh, full review for episode 5, Captive. Great episode. Especially love the end. Um, really, really good. So for next week's episode, episode 6, we now have 6 and 7 left. And then that's it for the first half of Fear of the Walking Dead Season 2. I like to think it's been a great half. It started off a little slow. Some people were upset, but I don't think there's hardly anybody at this point that uh, didn't enjoy episodes 3, 4, and 5. I think they've turned out amazing. And uh, I'm really excited to see what happens in the final two episodes. I'm excited to see if the remaining surviving members of Connor's group, if he did survive uh, his zombie uh, read attack, um, are going to try to uh, find the Abigail, track them down. We know they have the hardware to do so and go after them, so to speak. Or um, are they, is it another group that's attacking them? We have the, the promo as usual, and I'll put the link in the description to that. Uh, but this week we don't have a sneak peek yet. Now AMC may post one later, but at time of filming right now, there's no sneak peek for episode six. So sorry guys, can't give my thoughts on a sneak peek that isn't there, that doesn't exist. But it's not a big deal, because usually the sneak peeks don't include that much anyway. Uh, the promo is pretty good in the description uh, for uh, Sakat uh, Service is a conflict arises as the Abigail approaches its destination. So they're still heading towards Mexico. It looks like they're just about to get there now in this episode. Uh, it has uh, Chris makes a staggering decision. Uh, Nick meets a new maternal figure. Go figure. So um, the title itself, a Sikat service, um, when I Googled it, it brought up a bunch of music, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. But if you translate it from uh, Latin English, it's like a deer. I don't know, maybe being hunted or something. I'm not sure. Deer being, I, I, I have no idea. You guys can write your, um, you know, comments below because out of out of the total of all of you, some somebody will be able to come up with a much better uh, understanding of it than than I can. So write your comments below on what you think the title means. I can't really read much into it aside from maybe they're being hunted or something, or uh, maybe uh, Reuben Blades uh, Daniel will have some kind of importance in the episode uh, if it is in fact related to music. I'm not, I'm not sure. I can't say too much about it. Um, but so it's going to get close to. Mexico, Chris making a staggering decision. Who knows what staggering decision he'll make at this point. He's uh, he's pretty damaged, of course, from losing his uh, his mom, and um, he's having trouble dealing with his aggression and everything. Um, so, and he's uh, it worked out okay for him, but he's uh, uh, with with what happened with Reed. But it could have gone a lot worse, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, you know he's he's having some trouble. Um, Nick meets a new maternal figure. I can't think of who that would be, or what, or or what that would mean um, if there's a new someone who joins the group or something, I, I have no idea. Um, can't really predict much based on that. So the promo, um, which like I said, link will be in the description. You have the first scene, you've got Daniel with a knife and he's about to stab someone or something, but Nick and Ophelia, they, they kind of stop him and uh, they find a uh, coin. Uh, and then you have Strand referring to a Zodiac. It looks like there's an owl on the coin. Don't know what significance it has. Don't know if uh, if they were to uh, give that to somebody as payment or something. Maybe somebody who's a collector or something. I, I don't know. Uh, but money at these at this point, and and even even items really don't. Aside from aside from food and things that are going to help you survive, stuff that mattered in, in in regular life in a zombie apocalypse really doesn't matter. But you could still have some people that may be having trouble uh, letting go of that and may still be I don't know uh, interested in items or something. Not sure. Even though money really has no value now. Payment doesn't really matter. Payment would be in the form of like uh, survival, um, you know, food, uh, bullets, ammunition, guns, uh, things that you can use to defend yourself or, you know, uh, stuff like that. It wouldn't be things that like money and, and, and collectibles really wouldn't matter at that point. Unless people got really bored and then they decided that that was what they were going to do with their life. Um, so I don't know what significance that has. We'll have to find out in episode six. Uh, we've got uh, Louise to go to his, uh, his contact. 
and then uh, Strand and, and Louise, and then uh, Problem, and then Madison tells everybody to get into the uh, engine room to hide. And then at the end of the promo, we also have you know them getting down. As it seems, there's bullets whizzing by and a whole bunch of stuff happening. Somebody shooting upstairs, well, or you know above when they're in the engine room hiding. Uh, also, I noticed in the engine room there's no Strand and there's no Louise there. So did they go off to make a trade with somebody and then have you know Connor or something get in there, his, the remaining of his group attack and, and, and get involved in some way? Uh, not not really not sure. There's no way for us to know at this point, it seems like. But um, either way, it should be another exciting episode. It looks like there's going to be a lot of action. It looks like uh, it should be, should be great. And uh, I'm really, really impressed with how fear has turned things around. I mean, it started off the first two episodes, and we're like, is this episode two? Is this filler? Does this really matter? And, um, you know, maybe it was. Maybe it was a little bit of, of filler, like a filler-type episode, just to get another episode in the season at a weird time. But, uh, man, I mean, just really, really awesome ever since that episode episode three all the way up until now and it looks like episode six should be another another great one so that's about all i can say from the episode looks exciting uh you know you've got daniel there he's got the guns so um i'll be interested to see if we get a character death before of our surviving uh group before the end of this um you know the, this half i wouldn't be surprised to see a character like louise get killed or something because he you know we're just kind of getting to know him and just kind of meeting him anyway so it's not like he he'd be that much but uh, that you know wouldn't be that impactful to us but it'll be cool to see if, if we do meet uh, Thomas in this half uh, or if that's pushed in the second half and, you know, how this all uh, uh, rounds out and, and ends up with, uh, you know, of course, Alex and, and surviving Jack and surviving Connor group, our regular, you know, survivors and, and uh, you know, how this is all going to go and what they've got set up for us in episode seven, which uh, I'm expecting to be a really great episode considering episode three, three through five have been fantastic, really good. So... Check out the review if you missed it, guys, and I'll be back again soon for the Game of Thrones uh, review and predictions for uh, next week's episode of Got. Um, so if you guys like this one, you guys know what to do. Please thumb it up, uh, share and favorite. And like I said in the uh, the review, almost to 200,000 subscribers. So if you guys want to help the channel out, if you're new and you're not subbed, but you watch the videos, because I know there's a lot of people who do that, um, if, if you wouldn't mind, take a moment, subscribe, or sign up for a YouTube account, whatever you got to do. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. Uh, please uh, help the channel get to 200,000 subs. That'll be it for this one. I'll see you guys again real soon uh, for the Game of Thrones videos. And and uh, really excited for Fear. Can't wait for next week's episode of Fear again, episode six. I'm just uh, really impressed. And I may even watch some of the Talking Dead uh, episodes because I haven't watched any of them, like from Fear, like at all. <laughs> I had to skip them all. Uh, you know, it's Game of Thrones and Fear. I'm going to really watch Talking Dead. Maybe later I'll watch it. So we'll see. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think about all that. Write your predictions below. Uh, send me your questions for the Q&A, of course, as usual. Going to do a Fear Q&A this week. Last week I combined it with Walking Dead. And I think a lot of the questions people were missed for people who wanted to hear Fear. So this, this week I'll probably do a Fear Only Q&A. So send me your Fear questions and we'll do the one about uh, Nick, uh, um, Chris and whether or not he intentionally or he, 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 he shot read because he felt he needed to or because he wanted to a very a very different um a big difference there that's it for this one see you guys again about an hour forgot as always it's trav i'm saying peace see you guys later